All right, so the next thing we need to work on is what our restaurant activity looks like. Um, currently, uh, you know, we can launch it and I can show you that, I'll, I'll run my emulator here. I can launch it and I can click on it, but it's blank. And it's blank because two reasons, there's no layout for it and the layout has no content. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you how to create the layout. We're gonna show you how to set up the layout in the onCreate method so that you can use it. And then we'll talk a little bit about how to sort of um, enter data into the layout dynamically. All right, so the layout's over here in the, whoops, sorry, in the res layout directory. And you'll see there's an activity main uh, .xml file, and then there's, and that's used to render the main activity. And then there's also item underscore restaurant, which is used to re render each item in the list of restaurants. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut and paste this, and I'm gonna call this restaurant activity. It's good to keep a good naming convention for our, uh, our XML files here. Um, I do wanna add this to my project. It's important to check this in with the rest of your code. If you don't, things won't work when we try to grade it. So I'm gonna hit add. Um, and now this is loading up this, uh, this uh, you know, design view. I don't really want that. I, I want the code view. So I'm gonna get rid of the design view. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clear this stuff out. So I don't need a toolbar at the top anymore. And I don't need that uh, recycler view that was used to show the list. So what I really want is just a single layout. And let's put a text view in here. Um, and so this is another, you know, I'll, I'll set these up. Um, actually, let's say a width would be something else. Match parent, wrap content. And then uh, we're going to say text is equal to testing. Um, or how about... World. Why not? Uh, and then I'm going to close that. So if I go over here and I look at the design view, you'll see that I can see, you know, if I zoomed in a little bit here, I, I can see there is a text box and it says hello world at the very top. Now we're gonna, not going to go into like making this look good. If you were designing this for real and you wanted people to use it, this is ugly and difficult to read. So you would increase the font, you would create some margins around things. You know, we're not going to worry about that, right? If you want to get into that, please do, because building beautiful UIs is really hard, and this is a good chance to get some practice. And people will appreciate it, um, but we're not going to worry about that uh, at, at this point. So, uh, so here's what this looks like. I have a linear layout. I essentially cut and pa I copy and pasted the file from Activity Main um, into Restaurant Activity. Cop you know, using the same. Uh, well, you know what? Hold on a sec. <laughs> I actually didn't use the. Uh, the same thing, did I? Let me rename this. Uh, can I do that? Uh, refactor rename. I'll call this activity restaurant. Sorry, uh, that that will work. Okay, and it's still green, so it's still being added. I would just call it activity restaurant to start. Oops. Um, it is good to keep things consistent. So now the other thing is we have to tell our restaurant activity to use that layout. And what we're, there's a couple of different ways to work with layouts in Android. What we're going to do is we're going to follow along with what the main activity did. And so let's look at what the main activity did. The main activity used uh, a feature of Android that's actually somewhat modern, which is called data binding. And this allows us to essentially bind our activity to the layout in ways that allow us to access the layout more conveniently and more programmatically. So I'm going to follow the same pattern here. So the first thing I need is I need this binding variable. I'm going to cut and uh, paste this over here. I'm going to put it now. What I what I want here is not an activity main binding. I actually want uh, an activity restaurant binding, and that should show up now. And that's because I've created that layout file. If you haven't created that layout file or you called it something else, this name will be different. I also need to initialize that in my onCreate method. So I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, in on create after I make the call to super. Remember, that has to be the first thing I do. Um, and now I have to be careful here because the layout is not activity main. It's activity restaurant. Uh, the, the layout is named differently. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to run uh, the app again. Um, and now what I expect to happen is when I click on the restaurant, I should see this layout. I'm not expecting, uh, let me get rid of this comment because this is, uh, the comment is confusing. I'm not expecting to see um, the, uh, any particularly interesting information, but I should see that hello world text that I added to the layout, right? If I've done things properly. Let's see if I have, there it is. Cool. Okay, 
So, so that's a good start. But here's the thing. When you actually get this to work, you're going to have to populate your layout with information about the restaurant. We're going to talk next about how to get information about the restaurant from one place to another. And that's actually one of the trickier parts of this particular test case. We're not going to you know, walk you right to that, but we're going to help you understand what you need to do. Um, but for now, let's look at how we might, in the onCreate method, change the text of this particular text view. So normally with the text view, we, we don't initialize the text, right? Uh, we, we set it programmatically. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, so now this text view has no default text. Um, by the way, let me show you something. I should have shown you this earlier, right? I, I forgot. Um, when you are working and you have the emulator running, if you hit this button called apply code changes, that will typically allow you to update the emulator faster, right? This will sort of apply the code changes to the emulator. Um, oh, well, okay, now, now it's saying I have to restart the activity. Sometimes you still have to restart the entire uh, app for this to work, but there are times, particularly when you're, okay, well, I feel, I feel like this totally, it was a total fail. There are times when this should work, right? And it should allow you to make changes to things like layout without having to restart the entire activity. It clearly didn't work that time, so I sort of, you know, uh, ruined this chance to kind of show you that it's cool. Um, okay, so now when I open it up, it's blank again. And that's because I took out that default text from activity underscore restaurant at XML. So now, yeah, this being read from time to time is probably not a problem. Uh, some of you have encountered this before and to, well, I can try ignoring it because the project continues to build, so I'm just gonna do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and, and say, what would we do if we wanted to change the, the, this text view? Now, one of the things that's important that, we've, that we're missing is that if we want to modify this text view, we need to know what to call it. Right? We need to know something about the text view. Um, and so what I need to do is I need to add what's called an ID. And Android helps me with this. Uh, and I'll call this, well, you know, let's call this name because eventually you might want to populate this with the name of the restaurant. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to populate it. So if I do now binding.name, you'll see that that allows me to access. And what I can do is I can say, uh, dot set text and I'll call it hello world. So what is binding dot name? Binding dot name allows me, this is because I'm using this data binding library. Binding dot name now allows me to access the name element within my layout. The element that has ID name is this text view and that has this set text method. Why is this angry with me? Eh, whatever. Okay, we, we can ignore that error or that warning. Um, Let's run the app again. Let's try this. Let's try to apply code changes and see if it will work. Um, just because I sort of, you know, I, I, like I said, I tried it once and it blew up on me. Uh, maybe it'll work this time. Nope. Um, <laughs> nope. Well, maybe that uh, doesn't work as or well or, uh, or at all. Huh, okay. Uh, I guess the things that we're doing are not compatible with this particular way of restarting the app. But it's worth trying. You know, it might work someday. Um, all right. So let's open this up again. And now you'll see that hello world. And what's important, so it's like, okay, well, we just changed from one way of doing hello world to another. But what's important here is that this is now being done programmatically. So you can modify this to be whatever you want. And eventually what we're going to do is we're going to modify it to uh, use information that will be passed to that, this activity. Um, so you might wonder, like, how do I do this? Am I going to create a separate one of these activities for every single restaurant? No. What you're going to do is you're going to pass information about the restaurant in a way that this activity can retrieve it. It's then going to load the information about the restaurant and use that to populate the display. Okay. So, so at this point, you have, you know, I, I don't expect either one of these test cases to pass, but there are some good things that are happening, right? Uh, one good thing is that I'm starting the activity when uh, the restaurant is clicked. The second good thing is that I have a layout attached to it and I can add text fields and things like that. So I basically have a starter for my layout. Um, and these are the building blocks that I'm going to, you're, you're going to continue to work on in order to, to finish uh, this particular set of test cases.